What is up guys, welcome back to Nook News. Today, we are in the new DLC of Animal Crossing New Horizons, the Happy Home Paradise. It's pretty sweet, and we're gonna go ahead and do some gameplay, some content, and uh, talk a little bit about it. This is gonna be kind of my review video of the new update so I hopefully it helps you guys decide if you want to buy it or for all you guys who already have the DLC you know give you some insight on what is to come in the future I feel like I have a pretty good handle on it because I've been playing it for quite some time now and uh, okay so uh, let's go ahead and get into the video remember to hit that like button and subscribe I am right here on the island of the DLC update once you download the DLC you can go ahead and talk to talk to the airport manager here and say that you want to go to work it's a new add-on to the airport and uh, it's pretty cool you end up here and by saying you want to go to work you're basically saying that you want to go on vacation because look at this place it's an absolute paradise you get to chill with all your friends you get to say hi to your homies and you got this boy so i'll go ahead and introduce you to my favorite monkey here this is nico nico is uh, an Italian monkey. Maybe he's a uh, Greece. I don't really know. You guys can decide for yourselves. But he has this sweet boat here. He's basically our advisor. He works for the same company that I do. It's called Happy Home Paradise. Hence the title of the DLC. And uh, he takes us everywhere we want to go in this boat. And he also advises us on all the stuff once we are doing our designs of different villagers houses as you can see we have this app here it's called the happy home network app and it comes with the dlc and he will basically uh see all these things this boat basically the purpose of this boat is uh if you want to visit one of your past you know locations the past things that you've made you can go ahead and click on it and click visit and he'll take you there so it's pretty cool because the, all the homes that you design are on this one island. They're spread out on a bunch of different islands, so that's pretty cool. And Nico's your guy if you want to travel around. Anyways, let's go ahead and hit the beach. I am working right now. I'm on one of my shifts. I'm actually kind of flagging on the job, so let's go ahead and get into it. But here are all the different villagers who are requesting different homes. They uh, are from the game. Some might be from your own island, but some might be from other islands. It doesn't really matter. It's, they randomly spawn. You start with the original list, which everybody gets. You have to start with Eloise the elephant, but you can always replace those villagers. And over time, you get new and uh, it's kind of a choose your own adventure type situation with these villagers. Anyways, I see Bob here. I might go ahead and talk to Bob. I'll come down and do that a bit later. I just want to show you guys the island a little bit. So uh, as you can see, the island's pretty fresh. It has, you know, dark wood on these things, and uh, it's a little bit lighter in color than our own islands, but the graphics are just insane. On the beaches, you have all your villagers that you've, you know, created houses for. Snooty, and it shows the picture of uh, my design. You can see my beautiful design up there in the corner. Anyways, look at the view, look at the vistas, it's beautiful over here. As you can see, they almost just uh, flaunt it in your face when you sit down on this log. It gives you a good perspective. And, you know, they really put a lot of effort into the graphics. So if you're worried about the graphics, d don't be. It's obviously not a concern. Anyways, we got our main building there, which I'll give a tour of in a second. And then also we got all these other buildings, which you unlock after seven remodels. So after you remodel seven villagers homes, you can go ahead and do things like the school. I just did this one and uh, it came together pretty well. I'll go ahead and give you guys a little show, a little peekaboo. And uh, it's pretty cool. So you got all these islands on your, uh, <laughs> all these uh, buildings on your island. And over time, it becomes a full-fledged community. As you can see, your villagers can travel into this island. And it's cool. So you basically get twice the amount of villagers, twice the amount of buildings when you get this DLC. Even three times the amount of buildings. So if you want more content, more buildings, more of a community and a city island, he got it all in this package for only 25 bucks. So let's go ahead and enter into this building. This is the HQ of the Happy Home Paradise situation, the company that I work for. And it's pretty neat inside. So as you can see, this is Lottie. Lottie is the manager of the whole thing. This is, uh, what's his name? Wardo. He never talks, but uh, as you can see, he's a uh, manatee and he just said something kind of important. So here is our shop. I actually bought most of the things today, but the selection changes every day, and there's a different currency in this game, so you, you get Pokey, Pokey instead of Bells. So you can't use Pokey back on your island, but you can't use Bells here, so it's basically a flip-flop situation, 
and once you buy all of these things you can take them back to your island as well which is pretty neato because a lot of these items are super cool and uh, things that you might want on your island uh today i got this new this new tree it was giant i got a uh a, uh, what did I get? I got a skateboard. I got a bunch of different things, but uh, you can go ahead and use them back on your own island. For instance, this is like a smaller object. They usually have a few smaller things, and then back here, they have some giant things. I think all these items are available from the DLC, even if you don't get the uh, DLC, but still, it will help you obtain them much faster when you visit this Poke Shop here. So next, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the upstairs, because I know that's been a question on a lot of people's minds. It's pretty sweet up here. We got a little relaxing area. I have my, you know, my hammock. I can take my naps during my shifts when I'm supposed to be working, like I'm doing right here. And uh, we also have a locker. So this is my locker. I can use it to access my outfits at home if I click change uniform. And I can also change my uniform here. So uh, they give you a selection of a bunch of different clothes and this extends over time as you become more and more of a confident affiliate with the company. So as you can see, I completed the school so I got the scholar's hat and this is pretty much how the game works. You get items related to the, the projects that you complete. So well, let's go ahead and just get into it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a little uh, intro for you guys <laughs> so uh, you can go ahead and see what the game's all about. So let's go down to the beach and uh, pick out someone to... Uh, work our magic on that you guys can see pretty much what the gameplay is like so far i'm sure your minds are blown and i love the dlc so much i've only been playing it for a little while but enough to gain a lot of confidence in myself as a prominent designer so let's talk to bob uh and so bob has a dream i didn't really catch what it was i think it had something to do with the garden but we're going to talk more officially with him and you know, all of them have different themes corresponding to their personalities. So I assume Bob's, you know, will be like Garden. He's a grumpy villager, maybe. I don't really know. I don't know too much about Bob because I don't have him on my island. But that's something that's really cool about this. You can have villagers, again, that you don't have on your island. So while he talks with us, uh, here are his uh, requirements. You want some flowers. Okay. An indoor garden. A sanctuary. So I think I can do that. Um, let's go ahead and talk. <laughs> and uh, the one cool thing is since it's not all on one island we get to choose the location so these islands experience a bunch of different seasons a bunch of different positions so bob wants a garden i think some sort of springtime paradise would look nice maybe something like this i'm thinking yeah we'll go ahead and go with this let's select it so bob's gonna live down here by the sea he thinks it looks cool they always think it looks cool you get to pick and you pretty much have full creativity on everything you have here by the way guys look at my back look at my little bear outfit my bear backpack that's one of the uniform options and uh, i love it it looks so pretty here and let's go ahead and see what we can do by the way look at the animation on the bottom right screen it's great they put a lot of detail into this i'm gonna stop talking about it let's go ahead and do some building so you guys can see what the gameplay is like so first of all you get to design the outside Bob gives you full permission to do whatever you want. So if you want to blow it up, you can. But, you know, I wouldn't suggest that because you might not get as much pokey. <laughs> no, it's okay. As long as you fulfill the requirements, you're all good to go. But one thing you could do is change the seasons. So that's pretty cool. We're not actually going to do that. But if you really wanted to, that's something you could do. Another thing you could do is change the lighting. So if you want to change the time and the weather, you know, make it darker, make it afternoon, nighttime, morning, you can do that as well. And uh, that's interesting too. But uh, we're going to start on the creativity of the outside. So we can change to this designer mode. And the first thing I usually do is pick out the house. So you can change all these customization objects with the house. Uh, we have, you know, the big house, the small house, all these different styles that you can use in the original game as well. So I think I'll do a nice, you know, maybe I'll do a nice house like this for Bob. So we'll choose the roof. We got all these customization options again. I want to do something pretty colorful for him. So maybe I'll do the uh, the pink one right here. I guess it's sort of pink. Yeah, it's pink. It is pink, guys. Just uh, trust me. And uh, you can see we have two-tone things here. We got a lot of different uh, things. So uh, it's pretty interesting. Anyways, I like how this looks. So I think we'll just uh, go with this. Maybe we'll use this one. And of course, we have to add the wreath. So we'll go with this. It looks great. And uh, Bob's going to love it. 
So next, we get to uh, add items to the outside. We can also change this, by the way, the incline. And uh, you can change it into, you know, the normals. You can also change the location of the house if we want to move it around. So that's neat as well. But I'll probably just move it back to its original location. And you have all the options here. So if you go to the designer mode, we got, uh, you know, we can do fencing. We can do the, the paths. So we can make a path. We can do the... Uh, I don't even know what that is. We can change the house. We got a bunch of different options. And of course, if we go to the fencing, we have uh, we have access to all the different, you know, fencing customizations, as well as just the fencing types that are available in the normal game. All these items come to you just in this thing. You don't have to have earned them in uh, the game itself. You just get them automatically in this DLC and it introduces them to you as you progress throughout the game, which is super cool. The same goes as the outside for the inside you get the same items and uh, you don't have to worry about earning anything before you do this dlc it automatically gives it to you and you start out with a few items but as you build with more themes it gives you items related to those themes and eventually you build a uh, huge a huge uh, order list so here we go every villager has three required items two or three sometimes four if you get there but uh, at least the uh, three required items and as you can see uh, he has the tulips so we're going to try to build something that kind of incorporates those items. So let's go ahead and uh, the first thing I usually do is do the uh, floors. So let's see, what do I want here? I want some, you know, I don't even know. It usually gives us new flooring as we develop. He has some floral flooring. That's kind of cool. And what else does it give us? It gives us black brick flooring, rose flooring. And uh, what is this? The Hera Desert. Oh, we definitely have to go to the Sahara Desert. <laughs> you know what we're doing. Uh, we also have new wallpaper with each customization that we do. You don't get these transferred to the main game, but if you buy anything with Pokey, again, you get those as well. And we can choose accent walls just like in the original game itself. So we got this arched window wall. This gives me uh, a lot of good vibes. I might go ahead and just change <laughs> back with this then. Uh, I didn't really realize what we were doing. But we'll go with this. Uh, for our thing we might yeah i think this is great <laughs> i'm not going to question it twice uh so as you can see you get new furniture added for each thing as i was saying the red dot on the top left represents that and as you can see i got this whole furniture set you usually get one furniture set one or two per uh remodel so i'm going to go ahead and just add in some of these things you also have full customization op options with all of these so maybe we want the red instead of the yellow for this uh and then for the Nordic table, I definitely want this. Uh, we'll do the dark wood. Yeah, the dark wood will look really cool. Uh, we got a low board. Sweet. I'm going with the dark wood. Fabric on top. Oh, yeah. We'll go with this. And uh, what else? Nordic shelves. So it seems like the Nordic is obviously the, uh, the thing that we unlocked here. So that looks great. I'll put this all together. So we'll put the Nordic in the background and uh, we'll put the table in the foreground. You know, classic designer stuff. It takes a while to get as good as I am, guys, but uh, <laughs> you can always dream. You can always dream. Okay, try to uh, get some things here. Um, I'll flip this around. Good look, good. Flip it around just like this. I'm gonna put this here, I think. And we can put some flowers on top. I also want a little desk for him, probably, or maybe a couch. We want a couch. So uh, I'll put this sofa down. I actually want to customize this to be a little bit darker. Um, we'll go with the dark wood, and then just with the orangeness of this, which looks good. It matches the uh, tablecloth on the table, which was totally planned, by the way. <laughs> so as you can see, you got a lot of different options here. Um, you can also have a bunch of different perspectives, and I haven't showed you guys this yet, but you can also work on the walls and the ceilings, which is super interesting. So let's go ahead and add a bit to this. I'm going to put this over there. This is either the required items. We have to keep them again. And uh, there we go. Let's get some chairs for that, by the way. So Nordic chair. You don't have to use the Nordic items. I like to use the ones that they give me. But again, it's totally optional, and you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can also add in your own customizations these are come from your customization portfolio in the normal game. So that's something to look forward to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just add that here. Flip it around. And uh, I'll, I'll have a few more, maybe. 
So we can do that again. And as you can see, it starts to come along as you customize more and more of these. And I really like all the customization options. Again, after you do this, you can take pictures of it and upload it to uh, this what to the uh, app. So you can look at other people's other people's designs online. So that's one of the cool features. There's actually a community within this DLC, and it's something that uh, you can also visit other people's uh, <laughs> creations as well. Which is it just keeps getting cooler and cooler. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. Okay, so let's get the Nordic chair again, and I think that should finish it off for this. So there we go. And okay, so this is coming along. He's a little dining room. And of course, all the orange matches really well. Oh my goodness, that color coordination. Am I right? Okay, so that looks good. And now he might want like a TV or something, right? He's not living in the olden ages. He might put in a few flowers, right? Since that seems like something he might want. Uh, they actually are a lot bigger than I thought they would be. So maybe we'll just put one or two. <laughs> one or two in here. Uh, yeah, okay. That looks good. And, uh, goodbye, TV. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem like that's fitting anymore. No, it's okay. We'll just put this over here, like that. And let's go ahead and put a TV in for him. Actually, you know what's better than a TV? This thing. Poor Bob, he doesn't get any, uh, entertainment. But he said he likes gardening, so I assume this is what he considers to be entertainment. Okay, so next I'm going to show you guys the things that you can mount on the wall. So, uh, again, you unlock these as you continue. And let's see, so we have, uh... A few different things here. I'm going to put some iron wall lamps on there. We'll go ahead and get three or maybe two. And you can go ahead and use this perspective to line them however you would like. It's totally up to you. And uh, all these things are just, you can pretty much have full creativity over them. So uh, just like that. I think that looks good. And uh, let's see. So you get a bunch of different things. Um, maybe I'll put the radio radiator. Retro radiator? I can't read guys. That's okay. So this will go maybe over here so that they can look at the clock while they're eating dinner. Bob and his family of zero. So it's just him. <laughs> uh, and then the radiator will go down below. Cool. So this is actually looking pretty good. Now let's add some things to the ceiling. So what do we got here? We want some ceiling decor. I want a little chandelier for Bob. Um, so what does he want? He wants a stained glass light. Pretty fancy. So we'll go with the green and red. I think that will look good. And we'll put it right above the table. We can also add another one. So here's the ones we have so far. Maybe I'll put a... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll put a fan over everything. <laughs> so the fan's coming in clutch here. It looks pretty good. And you need to fan out all that flowery smell. Because no one wants to be smelling flowers all day long. So well, here we go. It's looking pretty good. And uh, let's see what Bob thinks about it we can go ahead and just talk to him and see if he likes it it's ready bob it is ready yay it's all finished okay by the way guys there's also other options uh involving you know polishing and you can also extend the room i didn't also <laughs> i didn't really show you guys that but that's okay um those things develop as you move in time uh as you progress throughout the game, you get more and more capabilities and you can do more and more things, which is super cool. So it's not just like you're doing the same thing over and over again. You get something that you're actually working towards and it becomes, you know, more of a challenge and more of some, something where you have goals and you're striving towards getting the best villagers and doing the best things. But let's go ahead and just uh, listen to Bob here. Take some photos. Give him some credit for being one of the best villagers in the game. Okay, so it seems like he loves it as long as you can... As long as you uh, put in all the, the things that they ask for, you can pretty much do whatever you want. It didn't even have to have flowers as long as we put those three flowers in. But it's super cool. And uh, you can also take photos. You can always redo these remodels. So that's super cool. So once you finish all the islands, you can go ahead and switch them out for new villagers and new patterns. So well, there we go. That's a design of a house. And I hope you enjoyed it. So we are now back on the island and let's see how much we get paid. We get paid in Pokey and your salary increases as you learn 
and as you uh, build more and more. So we started out with a salary of 6,000 Pokey. Now we have a salary as uh, 9,000 Pokey, which is super good. And for doing public work projects, such as the school and other things that come up, uh, Lottie suggests them over time, you get 25,000 Pokey. And the most expensive thing I've seen is only about 4,000 Pokey. So it's super easy to buy things with one salary cap. You can pretty much buy anything in the shop and uh, it's super easy to collect all this stuff. By the way, the one item that you can collect for all those secret getters out there is the... Uh, oh, there's an amiibo scanner. She's talking to me. Body suggesting an amiibo scanner. So there you go. You can add amiibos in and uh, do some VIP services. Remodel their homes. So in case you're wondering about amiibos, there you go. But uh, you can also get these chocolate bars. I know this is just like a little secret thing. I already bought some earlier in the video. But if you want some chocolate, you can always get those. Give them to your friends and family. But uh, there you go, guys. That's kind of my little review. I didn't say too much about it, except that it's just amazing. If you haven't gotten this yet, definitely get it. And uh, if you do get it, definitely start playing it. Because it's something you'll become addicted to. And it's a great change of pace from the actual game. Now, the coolest thing about this, in my opinion, is that once you progress far enough into the game you can start remodeling your home with the same features and as well as your villagers homes you can start remodeling your villagers homes so it really gives you some advantages to the game this dlc as well as all the pokey buying stuff that also is a lot of an advantage as you can get new items and uh, get those a lot faster so what uh, one last thing to mention is this little airplane right here you can take this back to harv's island i believe and from harv's island you can uh go to uh to this island so it's a full round trip and uh, all the three islands pretty much connect and this is really connected to the regular game so don't go on thinking that this is its own thing you don't need it it's kind of something that you really want and uh, i would definitely suggest getting it so guys remember to hit that like button and subscribe i hope you enjoyed this video it was helpful and uh we'll go ahead and stop it there thank you guys for watching until next time no canoes out